Hey everybody, <clears throat> nice seeing you again. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to make a quick guide about SQL injections. So SQL injections, you probably all know what it means. If you don't, I'm going to make a much larger video about it uh, in the future, uh, demonstrating it and showing every single kind of thing there is to know. Uh, but the first thing I want to tell you guys is how do you look for SQL injections? Well, for me it's pretty obvious. I look for every single post request that looks like it interacts with any database. And I enter a single quote in there. So I just go single quote, single quote, and I look for any error that isn't usual. So as you can see here, I get an error object object in my login form. If I would just do something wrong here, I would get a proper error. And oh, sorry, this indicates to me this object object indicates that I have a SQL injection possibly. But next thing I'm going to do is look at the actual proper request and response. So as you can see, I have a request with parameters here and I have a response. And as you can see in the response, I have a SQL light error. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Google and I'm going to go SQL light SQLi sheet sheet. I always just look for cheat sheets. There we go, SQLite. Oh, that's, that's just SQLite. Spelled like this, of course. SQL injection sheet sheet. <laughs> this is, of course, the. There we go. So, what I want to do is imagine what query is being built up here so what I'm going to do now is uh, just pretend that I'm the query master and I'm going to create a query so I'm going to select uh, star for, so I'm just going to do select count no I'm just going to do select star here we go just select everything from user where email equals and password equals. So this appears to be the query that's being made when I submit a post request. That seems to be the most logical thing. So what would happen when I enter a single quote in here is I would completely stop my quotation for the email address. So what I want to do is put a single quote in there remove everything else so this will be a comment i want to stop my query here and i want to go and select my sql version as well so let's do that and let's see if this works so single quote this uh, double point character and everything up to here i'm going to put this in the email field also in the password field, why not? See if we get anything invalid email or password. Okay, so it didn't give me what I wanted to see. So I'm just gonna try and force my way into there. I just want to log in as anybody. I'm just gonna try uh, or one equals one. So what I'm telling the query now is going to paste this like it used to be so this was the original query and I'm going to put this into here now so this is pretty much telling it I'm also going to put this in here just to be sure this is a comment for everything behind this so I don't get an error so what I'm going to say where email equals blah 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 or one equals one so it's pretty much always going to equal true I'm going to insert this into my fields And we are locked in as the admin. So that's pretty much what SQL injection is about. Now, as you can see, there's a cheat sheet here. This can help you get some information from the database, get the tables, um, do some SQL injections. Um, but it's pretty much when you want to do a SQL injection, you just start with entering a single quote. And when you get your SQL errors, you start looking at what you can do, so you start building your query the way you think 
they are building it in the background and then you can enter some a text string in there some injection parameter that's pretty much SQL injection um, of course there are a lot of caveats to it I'll be making a much deeper video about it later on but I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope I'll see you again in the next video please if you come this far remember to like the video and subscribe if you liked it of course and I'll see you in the next time bye